Welcome to Learning Buzz. We're looking at customer service and we've gone and discussed the mindset and the branding aspect of things. What I want to look at now are some of the practical points around how to do exceptionally well in the customer service position that you might have or for the people that are in your business who do customer service. One of the greatest gifts that you can give a person is to be fully present. We even talk about the present and a present in the same way. So anytime you engage with a customer, do make sure that you're fully present, that they've got your full attention, whether they're face to face with you or whether you're on a phone. We can tell if you're distracted looking at an email while you're talking to a client going, yes, can I help you? Okay. People notice stuff like that. Be present. We use a lovely acronym when we're training customer service. It's called CARE, C-A-R-E. And we're going to unpack those to help you understand how to have a great interaction with the client. The C stands for connect. So once you've done a great greeting, you're fully present with the client, you've greeted them, you're now going to connect with them. And the connection for many people ends up being the weather. But obviously the better you know the customer, the better you can connect with them. If it's a regular, let's say their kid's just been in a school play and you go, how was your kids play and they go, oh wow, it was great. And then suddenly we have a connection. So we connect on common ground. We then ask questions to understand exactly what the customer wants. And it's really useful to have a list of key questions you know you need to ask in order to get the best information that you can get so that you can serve the customer as well as possible. Then we recommend or we respond accordingly and help guide the customer. And through all of this, we stay engaged. People can tell whether you're distracted while you're talking to them or whether you're fully present. So we wanna stay completely engaged with that client. You can only serve one person at a time. If you're in a, in a showroom, you might occasionally need to say to the person, please excuse me, hello, I'll be with you shortly. Right, I'm right now back with you. So you wanna be fully present with the person you're with. You wanna stay engaged. As you're talking to a person, what you'll realize is you can educate them. Make little things like, oh, did you know this about this? Did you know that about that? And then you can also set expectations. Oh, if you're going for that, th um, that it will be available in two weeks time. Or if you're going for that, you need to understand that you need to have this ready or that ready in order to have that. So we set expectations. And while we're engaged with the customer, educating them, setting expectations, asking questions, giving recommendations, when we've done all of that, we then end well. So we connect, we ask questions, we respond accordingly, we stay engaged and we end the conversation well. Your action point for this week is to observe yourself. In those four key areas, where could you go and tweak or change or improve your approach? Yes, to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz.